All right, we'll go ahead and call a meeting to order. And then open up uh, the floor for discussion of the minutes from the regular session and the executive session. I have just one little tweak thing for the executive session minutes. And Margaret, I know I instructed this and I may have been unclear about it, but under discussion rather than all advertised matters were discussed, instead of all, I would prefer the term only. Oh. Meaning the topics were limited to those for which gotcha. there was a notice given of the meeting. So do we need to correct that or just for future reference? Just, I would say just for future reference. And then, okay. um, but with that, I would make a motion to approve regular minutes. Second. Move. Just for the regular minutes. You'll take the motion for both. We'll do both of them. Do both. both. Yeah. Second. 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 All right. Moved and seconded for both. Uh, That's all in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. And then uh, go into the reports. Principal Library, I finally remembered to bring the minutes. So, um, if you could pass a copy of the minutes down to Margaret, please, for her. Uh, so, at the April meeting, what I actually did was it was a surprise volunteer recognition for the Friends of the Library and all they do for us. So, uh, Janice Daniel, not Janice, she just landed Jill. Jill. Jill, yeah, Jill did uh, hors d'oeuvres and some dessert bars and brought lemonade. And then we had Shauna Rupert from Gentle Rhythms uh, brought her guitar and her keyboard and she played and sang. So for the first half hour, it was just mingling and talking and listening to her play and just a way to recognize them for all their hard work on our behalf. Uh, and then after the meeting, Mary Graver came down and requested $1,800 for the summer reading program. And the friends decided that they were going to give her $2,000 for the summer reading program. So we received $2,000 from the friends for SRP. Uh, they had their one day book sale, but I don't know how well it went. I'll find out in May. And then the Old Settlers book sale is June 27th, 28th, and 29th. Did you put the sign up for the book sale? Yep, yeah. May 2nd. Yes, I'm always. Oh, yeah, Mark does that for us. So they were all out. Okay. You want me to go ahead and go on to director's report? Yeah, you, you don't remember how much they had raised from them? They didn't tell me yet because I haven't met with them yet. I'll find out at the May meeting Look at how, how they did. I know they got a lot of traffic. But I don't know how that translates. So far, the smaller ones have been going pretty well because it's four hundred or five hundred dollars every time they do that, and then they have the bigger sale, um, which in the past has been anywhere from like eight hundred to a thousand. So everyone really helps. Uh, the boiler project is well on its way. We are going to be shut down, meaning no boilers. From the 15th through the 22nd, we did post it on social media. I'll have Sarah put a little trailer on our website. What that means is I will absolutely have no way of heating the building. So people are going to have to address to accommodate that. And we are asking patrons to bring a jacket or something with them. We notified all the meeting room people about this. We only heard back from one that said thank you for letting us know um, but we'll just I have every intention of staying open so we'll just see how it goes nobody canceled, nobody canceled. well there's no better time in the spring or fall so there's, there's, there's not a better time yeah so I'm really happy we're in the home stretch hopefully there'll be no you know issues they'll be able to get everything you know as you know, we can cross our fingers and hope for the best. Um, but I'm hoping that we'll be fully functioning and operational by the 23rd. So, uh, 
Uh, you should have gotten a copy of the letter from the Columbia City Redevelopment Commission about a meeting you've been invited to attend. I guess it's a, it's a annual. It's it was created in state law last year. Oh, okay. So, but it says they are supposed to have it on an annual basis. So okay. that's it's the first annual. Okay. So it's annual, but it's the first annual. And the county, I think, did one last fall. I think they started a little early. Um, but all the redevelopment commissions have to have these now. So this will be an annual thing. Whether okay. anybody comes or not, but it gives you a nice background of your curious. Okay. Do you, do you know how long that would take? Uh, it will not be very long. It's taking place at their regular meeting, which is a lunch meeting where they don't serve lunch. Um, so you can bring a brown bag if you're interested in that. I, uh, my part of, I, I'm thinking the whole presentation is probably going to be 20 minutes, maybe, because they have regular business stuff they need to do, too. Okay. It will be first. I've been suggesting that that should be. So we will see. We, I can suggest that again. It, it probably will depend on whether we have anybody show up. Apparently the county didn't have anybody attend their presentation last fall. So if, if nobody from the uh, uh, overlapping taxing unit shows up, they probably will have us one every first meeting. But if somebody shows up, I would suggest that first point. <laughs> I actually thought about doing this. Until June 11th, 
And that's why I thought as a courtesy, I'm gonna contact them and let them know that we're taking the room, we're taking the room back for the library and for library use. So that's how all of this. So does that mean you can't let other groups use it? I mean, just like on a single, you know, if somebody wants it just one night. You said we took it back for library use. Does that mean correct? That Meaning the library you can't has the discretion to determine who's going to be in that room. Oh, okay. And really, what it was is they had that room all the time, right? Like pre-reserved for years and years and years, where we need the flexibility to as groups come. Right. Right. That, later, that, right. that is exactly right. And you have to remember, we're only open like three nights a week, so the meeting rooms are less used during the daytime than they really are. It's prime time for people to meet is in sure. the evening, and so. It was, it was just becoming a real issue. And then other groups, you know, they stayed late, so they wanted to stay late. And it's like, okay, I need to okay. start enforcing this. And, and they really weren't willing to meet earlier in the day because they're all retired. I did not negotiate anything okay. like that. Correct. I did not offer to negotiate anything like that. There are lots of other spaces. Do you have any other questions about um, either one of the other groups that wanted? I understand the reasons for those. I agree. Um, I put a little reminder in there. We have it on the agenda for you to pass the bylaws with the update that I made last month. So I have that in there. The other thing is I'd like to move $100,000. That's the Terra CD that we had that is now in the operating fund. I'd like to move that to the rainy day fund so we have it next year for the next building project. And I would like to take care of that. This it stays in the Satera fund that's just moving from one account of ours to another. It's out of the Satera fund. It's no longer in the Satera fund. It's no longer in the Satera fund. No, we, yeah, we it was a CD that came. Okay, thank you. All right. All right. So it's currently in the operating fund. Okay. Okay, got it. We need board authorization. Correct. And so the SIP phones were right on target with that. Uh, the proposed port date is May 15th. So we have a lot of things going on this week, I guess. Um, so we have that. Then I sent you a confidential email about some staff changes that I'd like to make. Um, and because I put it in the confidential email, I was hoping that today we could, um, you could allow me permission to make that from part-time to full-time, a full-time position. Um, so that's why I did it the way I did it. Normally we meet in executive session, I go over everything, but you can't do anything in executive session. So it would put us back to June, and with Sarah leaving, however, Sarah's date of when she's leaving may have been pushed back a little bit because of some issues that she's having, personal issues. And then we had a supervisor's retreat. It's the first time I'd ever done one. It was really a pretty good session. Uh, Kelly Sheese facilitated. I think we got a lot out of the day, and I wanted you to be aware of that. So that's my report. That moves us to the You know, Info Express is this courier service we get five times a week. We just received notice, well, about a month ago, that our rates for Info Express went up 42 percent. Um, yeah, which is a huge increase. And I'll have to figure out where I'll move money to pay that, but I want you to be aware of that. And then I also received a letter from Evergreen, Indiana, that our cost for being a part of Evergreen is going to go up as well, but that's only $205. At first, I thought it was going to, I thought it was more than that, but we're going to be fine. So, just FYI. When is the Evergreen going to go up? Um, does that, well, January 1st, 2020. Okay, because we renew it. Yeah. And at least they gave us head notes. So notice, the State Library did not give us any notice about the Info Express delivery. Tell me what the Info Express delivery is. Um, delivery service that we get. 
every five days a week. So when you put a book on hold and it comes from another oh, location, they're the ones that deliver the book. The courier. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what is Bookflix? Bookflix is a website that you can download and you can use Yes, I, was gonna, I, I, I just saw it on here and the use was way, way down. Well, yeah, right. Okay. So we don't, we don't get it. It was fun. It was okay. But it was one of those things, I think, where we, uh, it was every March that we renewed or whatever, so we still had to carry it the first three months of this year. And that is all I have. Okay. So we will uh, move on to you. Okay, floor for the Peabody Public Library Board bylaws approval. I would move that we approve the change to the bylaws as was previously submitted to the uh, trustees. Do you have that a copy of that in writing? Sorry. I didn't have one in there either, no. Okay. I, I didn't give you guys one in this because I've given it to you last but, Yeah, I did not bring one. Uh, so. and, and it basically removed the requirement to have board members serve on the committees. Was that? On the personnel and policy? Yes. And the only standing committee that's left is finance. And I will move that we adopt those bylaws changes as proposed. I'll second. Move and second all those in favor. Aye. Aye. Aye.
what would happen when I, if I would promote Beth to full-time status, she'll automatically get health insurance. What we would save in Sarah's salary would be enough to cover her insurance. Um, it's the perf benefits that I am down money in, but I'm figuring, well, I've got different other areas where I have extra, and $529 is certainly absorbable. Who knows? But this is totally, all the years I've worked for you, I have gone from full-time people to part-time people. But it is, this uh, last three months, it is pretty clear to me that there has to be a certain kind of person that is quick on their feet, can adapt to technology issues that come up all the time, that can lug suitcases and can lift suitcases and um, is able to, if they're thrown into a weird situation, adapt and go on. And, and Beth is really, really good at that. Um, I don't know that I can find another person Investment yeah, the part, right. I, and when I found out that she would really like full time, I thought this would be a, a good thing to do. Before, so, she did not want That is absolutely right. She did not want full time. Okay. So I, I would move that we uh, convert that gas position to a full time position in the system. All those in favor? Okay, thank you. And it won't happen until Sarah's turn in her resignation. So, do we have to? And are you including <coughs> Jamie's hours then too? I she guess I didn't quite exactly understand the. Okay, Sarah works 20 hours. Jamie works 28. If Jamie just went to Sarah's hours, she lose eight hours. So I thought, why don't we divide oh, okay. Sarah's up gotcha. between oh. Jamie. So Jamie would stay at 28, and then Beth can only make 11 more hours, because if she got 12 hours, which would equal 20, 12 equal 20, she would be over, she would always be scheduled overtime. So I'm like, we'll just give her 11 hours. And then Beth will just be the technology trainer, and Jamie will just be the system. So Jamie will cover the 20 hours that Sarah had, plus, plus have eight hours to bounce into, if needed, to, to help Beth at the big schools. Yeah.
maybe every three years. Yeah, yeah. About three years yeah. is a good idea. What we try to do. Um, so, Tony, it looks like yours are BU Elite Desk, LBL Energy Star, BGA Port. Yeah, these are computers. And that, um, that represents several. Uh, right. Or well, six. When we when we purchase some, we purchase six. So we had to get six RAM eight gigs. You know what I'm saying? I, I can send this down here if you want to look at it. Well, it just um, it was just such a round number that it caught my eye. Well, I mean, we just oh, yeah. I mean, they quoted the group. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so those are you, you look at it, and you no. can, if you want to look at it, you want to look at it. You said six computers. No, I think, well, I read, I'm just reading what it said. It's more than, Chris, I, I, when I'm looking at this, I know we got computers. Let's just okay. put it that way. Um, I know we bought me a laptop. I know it says Hewlett Packard, so that's what I assumed, but. Yes, it looks like six, and all the stuff that comes with the that's six. That's good. That's five computers, or $500 for six. So. And what was the one that you read because they were Lenovo computers, but what's the title of the Central Point exactly? Technology? Okay. Central Technology yeah, Incorporated. Yeah. They made it come off. They made it come out of $40,000. There's yeah. no tax, I guess. That's well, right. It's a tax. Yes. Yeah. The tax so they could just make that. Uh, but, you know, all these things, and there's Fifty cents, maybe they had a crop to go into that they could cut into. But they added up to a three thousand dollars exactly. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Thing. So I think they made that work out. Yeah, that's, that's, that's all I'm saying. Like, that's a really good one. So when I did oh, it's up there, I look at the yeah. numbers and I for the self check. We have two self check machines. We have to get up there. Thank you, Mary, for helping me. No, that's okay. fine. Uh, I just was curious. I did have a question on, I asked the, at the front desk about the ability to pay fines and everything right there at the front desk. How is that? Oh, square? you mean square? Yes. It's oh. going very well. Is that a monthly uh, thing we're paying again, or is that? Uh, no, the fees are, um, Those are on the, the nominal fee is given to the patron when they yes. use their card, and it goes directly to square. So there was no setup fee? Did we have to purchase the machine? I don't remember. Well, we had to purchase the, um, right, the oh, iPads. Yeah. So yeah. we bought two iPads and we bought all the stuff and we, yeah, we bought all, all of the card the readers and all that. Transactions. Yeah. It, I mean, it, from what I've really set up front, it was, they loved it. It's, yeah. Yeah. And the patrons really, really, really like, like it too. So. Uh, it was, it was, what was it? It was not a flat fee, it was a percentage, wasn't it? Correct. Yeah, it was like 10% or 15%? Um, no, no, it's not that at all. Seven. Seven. No, it's low, 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 low. Really? It's like 2%. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's really small. And we don't see that. Okay. No. So, it's that box. Any other questions? Or? Um, I have a question. Um, well, it's on those city that's utilities. That's it went up like eight hundred dollars from the last month, which looks unusual. Is that the next one? The electric. The electric oh, went up eight hundred dollars. The electric, I think, is. You know, you give right. us the electric usage or m amount right. separate, but I mean, it gets paid in the utility bill. Right. Mm -hmm. You guys should have a kilometer thing on there. I really haven't looked at it. I know it went up $800. It was but only up like 400 from last year at this time, though. So it's not quite that yeah. Yeah. Down from 2015. Yeah. Like yeah. Two, yeah. In years past. It just, was it cycling the heat like and air conditioning or? Or just more lights on? Well, I know we had it. Now, this is where you reflected on this belt. We're having, you just told I'm me having you some issues that. with the chiller. And I and I was not able to go into the interface and make the adjustments. I had to call Corey, and then she had to override the system and do something. But that was just recently. That wasn't for April's belt. I can't answer why. I, I can't answer. It hasn't been a, 
unusually hot. It has a, yeah. They read the meter every month or they, do they I don't know. It. I then go read it and think of the difference. I don't know that they come out with it anymore. I don't think they, they have it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, honestly, the electric bill is so much better than it was when I came yeah. that but I can check into it if you'd like to. Well, I just thought, you know, all like the LED bulbs and everything that it was. And it did go down. I mean, if you look, yeah. it went down from the highest it's ever been, almost $5,000 each year. So we really. In 2015, we were 62 k 2018, we were That's where it's been a lot lower, and then it's moving yeah. bounced up quite a bit. I can't, I can't answer why. I would move that we approve the claims. I'll second that. Then move to second. Is there any other discussion? All those in favor of approving the claims? Aye. Aye. Okay, Tony, this is a silly question, but this bandwidth